Our coverage continues. The Jersey Shore will bear the brunt of the storm. You are looking live at Cape May. Heavy snowfall and strong wind gusts are expected to batter the coastline. A rare blizzard warning goes into effect at 7 p.m. for Cape May, Atlantic, and Southern Burlington counties. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is urging everyone to stay off the roads. He joins us live now on the phone. And Governor, thank you for joining us. I'd like to start where you ended your news briefing today when you said, quote, this one is a big one. We could be wrong, but I don't think so. Please bring us up to date on what you've learned and the type of restrictions that just a few minutes ago went into place. Good evening. Good to be with you, Yuki. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is a big one, especially if you're on the Jersey Shore. So Cape May, Atlantic Ocean, Monmouth County, the eastern part of Burlington County, it's a rare day that you get a literally a blizzard warning as opposed to a winter storm watch or a winter storm warning. And it's a combination of a significant accumulation on the shore, 12 to 18 inches, and very significant winds, mm. uh, gusts uh, expected over 50 miles an hour, which means visibility is impaired. It means power outages are likely to be significant. It also means within the power outage reality that the crews won't be able to go up on the buckets because they can't go up in winds mm -hmm. that high. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, that, that combination um, is not unique, but it's pretty rare, and that's why we're, we're bracing for a big one, particularly on the shore. Governor, this looks to be like one of those, as you alluded to, all hands on deck events. Your numbers are better in New Jersey. Will you have to worry at all about the staffing of work crews due to any COVID issues? How's yeah, it look? It's, it's a good question, and we are in a much better place than we were the last round of storms. So while it is still an issue at the edges, our DOT folks, state police, county, local contractors, are much more uh, confident that they can fully man the equipment. And by the way, the equipment is significant. I think we'll have uh, something around 3,000 pieces mm -hmm. out on the roads tonight. And, Governor, it's not just the impact of the storm, as you mentioned this afternoon. This thing has a long tail. The aftermath can be just as taxing, correct? You betcha. And, and, and uh, Sunday may be sunny and cold, and we all may want to have that human instinct to say, you know what, this thing's behind us, let's get back to normal, but this is going to take a while, I suspect, to dig out from under and get the power back on, etc. Governor, thank you. Be safe. We always appreciate your help and your insight. Thank you again. Good to be with you. Thank you. Likewise.